I am also the SEIU Local 668 thank you, Chief F5 Steward. Thank you to those of you who sponsored House Bill 1918 and those of you who have signed on to it. Again, I'm going to begin, as I've said over and over, we are not an institution. We are the home of 305 people. The residents of state centers are fully integrated into their respective surrounding communities, participation in community service organizations. Everything that has been cited by the previous panel is offered at Whitehaven Center, all of it. We are members of the Lions Club, Chamber of Commerce, Knights of Columbus. Uh, we do roadside cleanup. Local businesses ask about our residents. We have forged the bonds in the community. Our residents, <clears throat> self-esteem is enhanced by our presence in the community. Those who cannot leave center grounds due to the extreme fragility of their medical status, enjoy the many activities we bring to them, therapy animals, family visits, volunteer events, and religious services. As disturbing as it is, I need to remind you of DHS Secretary Teresa Miller's words on August 14th, when she referred to the closure announcement of Whitehaven and Polk Centers as, quote, an incredible moment in our history of Pennsylvania. Please remember that Whitehaven Center is situated on 192 acres of what is considered prime real estate. Mr. Kevin Dressler has already admitted that there are interested parties in regards to our site. Again, Secretary Miller and Deputy Secretary Ahrens, please remember their inability to provide any coherent responses to questions other than their usual evasive and canned rhetoric, manipulation of data, skewed statistics, and outright lies. <clears throat> Many employees of Whitehaven Center have been there for decades, upwards of 20 and 30 years, some even 40 plus years. The average age of our residents at Whitehaven Center is 62. The average length of stay at all state centers is 47 years. What do these numbers say about the quality of care that we provide? There is a place for everyone to call home, whether it be a group home, life sharing, or a state center. Each person needs that individualized care tailored to their specific needs. For many members of the intellectually and developmentally disabled community, the most appropriate and least restrictive placement is one of our four state centers. I'm not gonna rehash the waiting list. We've heard over and over about it. As was stated previously by our wonderful family members, people on the waiting list are not offered the option of a state center. So all 13,000 of them refuse services. Even the 5,000 plus who are in crisis I think that is ludicrous, that if anyone actually believes that. I can guarantee you that some of them would choose state centers if they knew they were available. Please know, since the closure announcement, Whitehaven Center receives two to three calls per week from families who are desperate for services and begging us to admit their loved ones. What does that tell you, that they don't even know that state centers exist? <clears throat> Another question for Ms. Landis. Why has the Arc of Luzerne County publicly stated that there are no current placement options and that they are very concerned about the welfare of our residents if Whitehaven Center would close? One of their own organizations. In conclusion, please keep Whitehaven Center and Polk Centers open. Open the doors of our state centers to help these people on the waiting list who don't even know we exist, that the services are out there for them, especially 5,000 of them who are in crisis. As Ms. McCabe said, 
how did we get to this point? 